Hello! Good afternoon, evening slash morning world. How in the fuck are you? I'm in a great fucking mood because I came to an epiphany today, ladies and gentlemen. I came to something today and I'm, I'm ready to roll with it. We have a motto for this season. Here you go. Smile, guys, because we're fucked. It's the name of the motto for the season. But what I mean by this is we're screwed, people. The world's going to go to shit. We're dying. I'm sitting across from my best friend who's got a t-shirt of The Flash who's dying from fucking Apple. And that's a whole other episode we'll talk about sometime. Goddamn cocksuckers. Uh, who'd have thought Pixar would try and kill a small company? That's a whole other connection. No, that's, that's, that's bullshit. That's flagrant. But I, it, we're screwed, guys. I mean, let's, let's take two seconds and go through some of the shit that's happened since we've been gone. Since I took a vacation slash almost od Uh, let's see here. First on the list... There's a new morning after pill. That's pretty decent news. It's called the fine pill. That's kind of cool. It's, uh, it's, it's effective for up to seven days. That's pretty slick, because after you've taken that chick out to go see Wicked for the third fucking time and try to drop a, a, another kind of pill in her fucking, what is that, a flirtini, you still have seven days to kill that goddamn kid. Which leads me to my next point. Fuck being funny. We're going to get there in a second. Pepsi Cola's got this deal now where they're, Pepsi Cola's trying to be green. Help the world be greener. Help the world be greener. Help the world fix everything. Recycle. You know what Pepsi ought to fucking do? And I probably even talked about this in another podcast. You know what Pepsi ought to do to help the world be greener? Close your fucking doors. I don't give a fuck how many people go jobless at this point. On that one particular tip, all you are doing is sucking Satan's cock and bringing the world to an eviler place. The shit you put out is nothing but destroying the world. You, Pepsi, and Coca-Cola are 90% of the reason the world is in the shit it's in. People being sick, people not being taken care of themselves, people thinking all it takes is a Coke and a smile and you can have a better day. Fuck you. That is the most fucking condescending shit I have ever heard in my entire fucking life. Uh, what else is next? Let's see what else happened here. 30 gunmen shot up a rehab center in Chudad. Shit, I can't pronounce that right and I'm half Mexican. That is pretty fucking bad. Chudad Juarez, 19 dead. The reason they shot up the rehab clinic is because everybody in the fucking rehab clinic owed them money. Not because they were looking for drugs or anything else or all that. Because everybody in the rehab clinic owed them money. And this is not two days after they found 55 bodies in a silver mine where a drug cartel had been lining the, the fucking mine with their dead bodies and shit. Now, I personally don't understand why... Mexico has such a bad cocaine problem, or why they do, but I don't really get it. Sorry. <coughs> oh man, that's a good drink. Uh, <laughs> that's bullshit for once, folks. Actually, that was just a good joke. Fuck, man. Don't have kids. I hate to be the town crier here, but the end is nigh. To quote, 28 days later, the end is very fucking nigh. Uh. There, there's a pipe. You all know what I'm talking about at this point. I don't need to go into what it is. There's a pipe. BP put there. It's leaking. They have no fucking idea how to stop it. None. No idea now. If you look at satellite projections of the ocean at this point, it's black in the Gulf of Mexico. And I'm not bleeding into a racist joke or anything. It is fucking... You can see it from space! Martians can tell we are fucking each other up now. Uh, let's see what else happened. Let's see what else went through. Ah, yes, this is a good one. I like this one. Uh, vodka tampon poisoning in Colombia. This is the coolest fucking thing I've heard, dude. This is old news. All the things you're hearing is news, but I haven't had a chance to bullshit about it, so it's new to me. So what would people would do is put tampons in the highest grade vodka they could find, right, and then pull them out, then shove them up their asses, and they'd be dead inside five minutes from alcohol poisoning. Butt chugging. Butt chugging, Jared says. Wow. I thought that was just a term used in gay porno, but apparently it's made its way across the line. Uh, you know, I personally think this is natural selection. This goes right up there with the dipshits who blow their brains out because Judas Priest records tell them to. I don't think we're losing the cancer cure with these guys. But it's funny. And, you know, like the Joker tells us, if you got to go... Go with a smile. <laughs>